Hello everyone, here we have another restoration uh, project it's for Gucci brick case uh, it's generally in good condition just uh, the corners you can see the leather is a split and uh, there was some dirt this place that I scratched and removed uh, you can see it's still it's a bit dirty I need to wash it off first clean it up actually and then I must go for restoration the legs are in bad condition I try to change them if I can uh, open the uh, open them easily from inside I'll change them with new one but if it's not possible can do anything so we leave them like this or at least we can sand them to clean them up as you can see all edges around bad condition and uh, interior is also a bit dirty Pen marks everywhere. You can see the Gucci logo. Not in bad condition generally, according to the bad edge. Age. I think it is quite old one. Uh, I use my soap and foam. I cleaned up this side and back side. And I need to go through sides. As you can see, there are lots of dirt and dust everywhere. Okay, here is how I clean it. I use my special soap. Use some soft sponge. Go all through all these gaps to make it look clean. And uh, if you want to apply some paint or wax uh, and it will be more effective on a cleaner surface and your leather will last for more years And you need to wipe it off with the foam as much as possible. You can see how much dirt is inside the foam. This side here is clean and here is used. You can wash it off 
and uh, apply for other sites. Uh, for gaps and some places like these, we need to use some toothbrush to take out all the dirt because the cloth doesn't go there to clean. And you can see there is no dirt the corners also on the hinge lock. Also, such places like here, like here, okay, after it's dry you can feel how much is soft and uh, more softer and uh, more alive it is also for stitches uh, I don't know if it's visible on video or not here uh, your sponge doesn't help in proper way so better you use the same toothbrush Clean it up. There is a gap underneath. Focus on that. Sorry. Okay. Don't forget to wash your toothbrush and sponge every time you use for some part otherwise you will rub dirt from somewhere to another way you can feel how soft it is now okay now I'm going to uh, use some uh, sweat cleaner. I think it is pig skin, probably sweat. Uh, I need to clean all this pen marks and dirt inside. All right, um, the out. Uh, side cleaning is done and uh, now I'm going to sand the edge a little bit very slightly uh, to prepare the edge for edge finish I'm going to use edge paint because it had edge paint before I'm going to do the same thing but a uh, new one uh, for this purpose I use 240 sandpaper you can wrap your sandpaper around something flat to sand the surface evenly like this Be careful of your hardware, don't touch the sandpaper.
Okay, you can see we have even surface ready for edge paint. I will go all around and uh, make smooth surface. You can also use 400 uh, sandpaper afterwards to make the surface more even. And you can also, if uh, you have got wedge tan leather, you can use a little bit burnish to make it quite even before edge paint. Okay, this is finished product and the restoration is finished. As you can see, the edges are okay now. The paint is fine. And the interior is more clean than before. Things not possible to on the person to remove, but it's fine now. And corners, it's okay. Please uh, comment below and subscribe. To run in if you haven't subscribed yet for more videos and if you have any idea you can comment below thanks